Hello students, this is Mr. Hart. And this video we're going to talk about scales. Okay, in class we we're talking about what scales are and why we need to use them in earth science. Turns out they're very important for helping us visualize certain things that would be pretty much impossible to visualize otherwise. Okay. So the first example of a scale that I want to show you guys that you probably didn't even realize you were seeing most of the time is the scale you see on a map. Okay, so if you pull up uh, Google Maps, okay, and you have some building you're trying to get to or whatever it is, right? If you actually look in that bottom right corner, there's actually a little marking that shows a certain width and it tells you, I blew it up to bigger size on that side, tells you how far that width represents, okay? So even though we have this little tiny map on our screen, we can actually see how far that representation actually is, okay? This is an example of a scale, okay? So a scale is something we set up that is kind of a ratio that maps our real physical world value to some other small representation value, okay? So in other words, it's something that allows you to visualize something very large with something very small, okay? It's hard to know exactly, you know, how far three miles is on a map or something like that, but we can use that little scale to know exactly how far things have traveled, okay? We're gonna talk about things that are huge in this class, the size of the universe, right? Um, you know, the, the radius of the earth, the distance to nearest galaxies, right? Those things are really hard to comprehend when they're on millions of miles and, you know, even millions of light years away, whatever that means, right? It's hard to visualize conceptually what that is, but if we set up some scale, then we can make it easier to see. Okay, so that can be distance. It can also be time. When we're looking at things that happened a long time ago, you know, how, how long ago was that? You know, if it's billions of years, well, that's hard to describe, but maybe if I have some sense of scale, it's easier to see, okay? So let me give you a really, really um, basic examples of this, okay? Um, and hopefully this helps us see why we actually care about scales, okay? So the first one is, a scale that we can use to think about the earth versus the moon okay so for example <clears throat> I have a basketball right here okay and I have this little, little plush toy okay my green screen is kind of fading it out so I'll do the white side okay but if this is the size of the earth then this would be the size of the moon okay so on this scale if the earth is the size of basketball then the moon is the size of this plush toy so it makes it easy to see, right? If I just told you the Earth is, you know, 600,000 kilometers across or whatever it is, I forget the exact number. I think it's only 6,000 kilometers. Anyways, that's just a number. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But if I can see, well, this is the size of the Earth, the moon would be this, this in comparison. That's easier to talk about and describe. It's something to scale. Also, if I am, if these two objects are at this size, then the Earth and the moon would actually be about arm's width away. Okay, I can't do that in the camera. I go off the screen, but they'd be about arms width away. They're about six to seven feet apart at this scale. So it's easy to see that the moon is actually really, really far away to the earth, relatively speaking, but not astronomically far away compared to other things at this scale, okay? So a scale is a really quick way and convenient way to figure out kind of how far, how wide, et cetera, things are compared to other things, okay? Um, another thing that's useful is thinking about the scale of the earth and the tennis ball, the earth as a basketball and the moon as a tennis ball, is if, again, they're at that super far distance, right, then if you think about the International Space Station, right, where we send up astronauts and they do all those studies and everything, the International Space Station is actually like right here, okay? It's like a thumbs width away from the earth. So at this scale, you know, we think of the International Space Station being in space, but it's really super close to the Earth compared to something like the moon, okay? So it helps us, again, visualize something, understand something, that the International Space Station is actually really not that far away, okay? So um, what we want to be able to do is take something, some really big number, some really thing, think, something that's really hard to describe, and turn it to a scale we can understand, okay? That's what we want to practice is actually calculating these scales. So how do we do that? How do I take something that's big or take some number and turn it into a scale that I can use? Okay, let's go back to our map for a second. OK, 
okay? So for example, if I have this marking down here, and we know that mark is 1,000 feet, and I try to take the distance from the Lumen building, for example, to the, the movie theater down here, okay? Well, it's about, I'm, I'm approximating on the green screen, but it's about one and a half of those, okay? So if we want to know how far that is in real life, we can set up our conversion ratio for scale. Okay, so this is how you set it up. Okay. I kind of draw this little this little diagram right here to help us set up the math. Okay, so we're gonna put the thing that we know in the top. So we have about one and a half of those markings, okay, between the movie theater and the building, okay. If that is the case, right, um, we know that is the value. We also need to know our scale. One of those markings was equal to a thousand feet. Okay, so if we want to know how far that is, we want to put the thing we currently have that we want to get rid of on the bottom of this, and we want to put the thing we're trying to get to, the real life value, or maybe it's the scale value, depending on how you set up the problem. We're trying to get to feet, the thing we're the real actual distance, we put that on the top of this. Okay, and then what's gonna happen is we're gonna multiply those two numbers together and divide by the one on bottom. So the real distance is 1.5 times 1,000 feet divided by one. If you put that in your calculator, you get 1,500 feet. Okay, now those of you that are a little bit more math inclined, you'll notice that the units here actually cancel out. And that's what we want, right? We want to turn these units into these units, okay? So the key is knowing what's the scale, what's the scale factor, what am I starting with, and then you put the thing you want to get rid of on the bottom and the thing you want on top, okay? Then multiply and divide, okay? Let's do another example. So let's say we're trying to represent the space between um, protons to electrons in an atom, okay? Well, that actual distance is about 0.2 nanometers. Okay, super tiny. Okay, scales can be used for really big things or super tiny things, both ways. Okay, and let's say I want to draw it like I did on here. And let's say our scale that we're using for our drawing is 0 0.2 um, nan, or uh, let's not use the exact value, that's too easy. Let's do uh, 0 0.5 nanometers equals three centimeters okay just for fun we'll do that okay so i want 0.5 nanometers on my scale to re equal three centimeters on my drawing okay so we're kind of going the other way so i'm taking my physical value and turning it into a representation value okay so if we memorize that scale okay so the true distance was 0.2 nanometers and we wanted five nanometers equal three centimeters on our drawing, okay? So what do we do? Well, the thing we wanna get rid of is nanometers, so we're gonna put that on the bottom, okay? So we're gonna put five nanometers on bottom and three centimeters on top, okay? Because that's our scale. So then we're gonna multiply these and divide, okay? So in my calculator, I take 0.2 and times by three, and then I would divide it by five. If I'm doing this correctly in my head, I believe that gives you 0 0.12 centimeters, okay? So in my drawing, I would draw 0 0.12 centimeters across, okay? But this is the key. Multiply by the top, divide by the bottom. Put that in your calculator, that'll tell you what your actual drawing is, okay? But that is how you use a scale. So you'll practice this, this on your homework by I'm gonna give you the heights of some act, some actual heights of animals, and I want you to draw them to scale on a paper, okay? So you can choose the scale, and you can work on that, and that'll be your homework, okay? But just follow this process, and you can convert scales really easily, okay? All right, see you in the next video.